all week motivation of 14%. See? The workload of financial managers capitation fund has the most moderate workload of uh, 78 and the least uh, has a low workload of 6%. For the financial performance of the financial financial capitation fund at the community heart center in Virginia Regency is most moderate at 62% and at least has a high absorption of performance of 13%. The variable level of knowledge, uh, level of motivation, and workload significantly influence the performance of National Health Insurance Capital Fund financial managers. Next slide. Next slide. Next slide, please. This is a document of my research. Next slide. Yes. Thank you very much. Uh, I think that's all my presentation. Thank you for your attention, ladies and gentlemen. Thank you for me, Ms. Purwani. Waalaikumsalam warahmatullahi wabarakatuh. That is enough, Mrs. Purwani. You have three minutes to left. Enough? Enough, I think. Enough. Thank okay. you. Thank you. Okay, before I went to the next uh, presentator, I will to remind that all the participants can give a question via chat Zoom column and using English. So you just feel free to write your question in chat room and don't forget to write to whom is your question. And now for the next presentator, I will call for Mrs. Dwiratna. Mrs. Dwiratna. Mrs. Dwiratna, can you hear my voice? Hello, Mrs. Dwiratna. Mrs. Dwiratna, just unmute your microphone. Yes. Okay, Mrs. Dwiratna? Yes. Okay, now it's your turn. The yes. title for Mrs. Dwiratna is the perception customers about the main quality infrastructure of non public health. For Mrs. Dwiratna, time is yours. Thanks for moderator. Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh. Good morning, ladies and gentlemen. Uh, introduce myself. My name is Dwi Ratna. I'm studying uh, of master, de master degree of public health Strada Indonesia. Major the policy and management of health service. Every day I work as a midwife in Ngantang Public Health Center. Next. First of all, I would like to say to thank you very much for this special given to me. So is this morning I can present my thesis with the title the present perception about the means quality infrastructure of Ngantang Public Health Center. Uh, background Ngantang Public Health Center being a public health center always tries to apply minimum service standard service provided a form effort organized to meet community needs. Next. The design used in this research is a qualitative descriptive study with a case study design, which describes uh, informant perception about infrastructure, quality of building equipment, Human resource at Ngantang Public Health Center. The sampling technique, 
technique of this research is purposive sampling technique. Informant in this study consists of 21 people, namely for uh, five PPGS PPE, five general patient, five independent PPGS, and six patient companion as triangula uh, triangulation informant. Data collection technique using observation, interview, and documentation. Next. Result of the research. There are 14 sub location, identification to category strategic and not strategic, uh, transportation route to category, smooth and difficult access, ground counter, one category, rise of erosion, parking facilities, two categories, suffice and not suffice, safety facilities, two categories, safe and not safe, public utility, one category, good, environmental health, one category, good, component of building, two category, good and not good, disability and older facilities, two category, available and not available, examination set, one category, good. Next. Disposable material, two category, available and not available. Equipment, one category, complete. Maple layer, two category, good and too many. Human resources, two category, suffice and not suffice. Next. Discussion. Discussion era is a uh, three term. One, the building ground counter, parking facilities, security facilities, building component and material facilities for person with disabilities and the elderly at Ngantang Public Health Center still under studies. The equipment, consumable, mobile in the general examination in the general examination room at Public Health Center Ngantang is inadequate. Human resources of uh, our workforce at the Ngantang Public Health Center are still not in balance with the number of patients who come in the service process. Conclusion. The building, the result of Research on customer perception about the building of the Ngantang Public Health Center is strategic. The transportation road is smooth. The ground counter uh, are risk uh, of erosion. Parking facilities are not suffice. The safety facilities are not safe. The public utility is good. The environmental health is good. The building component and material for the most uh, quiet good, disability and other facilities are not available enough. Next. Two, instrument. The result of research on uh, informant perception of equipment at the Ngantang Public Center, the set of examination are good. Disposable material only partially available in the general examination room. Equipment, the general examination room, Ngantang Public Health Center is complete. The mobiliar are complete. Three, human resources. The result of research on customer perception about human resources or the workforce of the Ngantang Public Health Center have to fit a Sufficient nurse, doctor, and author. Next, documentation. Next, uh, sorry uh, if there's, there is a wrong shape and I add uh, presentation.
Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh. I return it to the moderator. Waalaikumsalam warahmatullahi wabarakatuh. That's enough, Mrs. Duyatna. You have four minutes to left. Yes. Enough? Enough. Okay, thank you for Mrs. Duyatna for your presentation. Before I went to the next presentation, I will to remind you that please do not leave the conversation until all presentations over. And ladies and gentlemen, we remind you to, to fill the presence link on the link that the committee will share in the, in, the chop, in the Zoom chat. Okay, for the next, I will call for Igede Budayana, right? Hello, Igede Budayana. Mr. Igede Budayana, can you hear my voice? Uh, yeah, siap, siap, bisa. Oke, okay. siap. Good morning, Mr. Good morning, Mr. Yeah. Igede Budayana. Yeah. Now you will to represent yeah, yes. the title of optimization of the utilization of the root health service in the General Hospital of Kota Pusada Singaraja. The time is yours. Yes. Yes. Good morning, ladies and gentlemen. My God always protect us all. Thank you to Mr. Sony for the time given to present my research with the title Optimization of the Utilization of the Road Health Service in the General Hospital of Kertawasada, Singaraja, 2019. Next. Next. Next, next. Back, 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 back. Oh, yeah. My research background is there was a decrease in the number of outpatient visits at the Kertawusada General, General Hospital. That's on data on visits to General Hospital of Kertawusada in 2015 to 2018. The number of visits in 2016 to 2017 decreased by 18.89%. While in 2017 to 2018, there was an increase of 0.02%. This might be due to government police or lack of us use of service by the community and other factors. The SES conducted a primary service with the amount of looking for things that caused a decrease in visit to the outpatient unit of Kerta Pusada Hospital. Based on result of a preliminary study at Kertawusada General Hospital through a questionnaire of 330 outpatients, the result showed that the average patient satisfaction was at a value of 65.55%, where this number has not reset the standards set by the Ministry of Health. Next. Next. Oh, ada apa? Okay, the side, this type of reset is an observational approach with a cross-sectional study design that is data collection that will be measured only once and without any treatment to the population. Finu and time, this research site is in the outpatient unit of Kertawusada Singaraja Hospital, Bulaleng, Bali. Data collection in this study was carried out for one month, namely in September 2019. Subject, the number of samples in this study were 272 respondents who received outpatient health service. Sampling was carried out using proportional crystal sampling. Next. Next.
Next again. Yes, yes. yes. Uh, defender variable. The defender variable is frequency of utilization of health service. The independent variable is community characteristic and fashion service station. Analysis. Data were processed and analysis by linear logistic regression test. This research has been declared ethic based on the result of the ethical test number 132-SC-KIPK-SB-10 Romawi-2019, which was conducted by research at the Health Research Ethic Community. Commission of the Sekolah Tinggi Ilmu Kesehatan Belaleng. Next. Results influence directly. Based on the result of the linear regression test variable that affect the utilization of advocation health service at Kertau Sada General Hospital Singaraja, a variable of age, gender, and patient satisfaction where the significant value is less than 0.05. Where age has a significant value of 0.032, gender has a significant value of 0.39, and patient satisfaction with a significant value of 0.00. Index inflation while education, profession, confidence, income, distance, family medication habits, confidence and safety fill of more than 0 0.05. Next. Next. Unclassian. Based on a linear regression test, the variable Levels of age, gender, and patient satisfaction have an influence on the utilization of health service. Whereas, based on the linear logistic test, that, that community characteristic and patient satisfaction affect simultaneously or jointly on the utilization of outpatient health service in Kertausada Hospital Singaraja. Next. Hmm? Yes, this communication in the reset. Next. Okay, that is the explanation of my research. Thank you. Thank you, Mr. Thank Sonny. you. Thank you for Mr. Enough. EK. Yes, enough. That is enough. You have five minutes yes. to go. Yes. Okay. Yes. Okay, yes. thank you enough. for Mr. EK Budayana. Thank you. Thank you, Mr. Sonny. So I will to. Okay, thank you. Before I will go to the next presentator, I will to remind you to write a question if you have any question for the participant today. And I just want to go to the next presentator. Name is Miss Jatmiko Susila Ningse, right? This is Jatmiko. Are you there? Mrs. Jatmiko, can you hear my face, voice? Hello, Mr. Mrs. Jatmiko. Hello. Waalaikumsalam. Mrs. Jatmiko, Susela Ningse, right? Okay. Yeah. Okay. okay. Uh, you will to refresh something. The title is the implementation of national cohort. Register by midwife okay. coordinators in Kota Waringin Barat, District Central Kalimantan, right? Okay, okay. Yes. time is yours. Okay. Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh. Good morning. First uh, of all, I want to say thank you for the opportunity. Uh, let me introduce myself. My name is Jatmiko Susila Ningsi. Uh, 
Guru Dej Staden from Stada Indonesia Kediri. I come from Sentra Kalimantan, Pangalambun. I want to tell about my research. Uh, the implementation of maternal alcohol register by midwife coordinators in Kota Waringin Barat, District Kalimantan, Central Kalimantan. Next. Next slide. Uh, background. Overlaying MGHAT service data source. Data source of MGHAT are incomplete. Two. High maternal mortality rate. MGHAT SPM under national target. Service records are not maximal and previous study. Next. Um, my framework, my, my research, population, midwife coordinator in Kota Waringin Barat, sampling, purpose sampling, informant, midwife coordinator, data collection, interview, observation, FDG, triangulation, instrument, Research recording, camera, stationary, and conclusionnya analisis data from data collection. Next, research methods, research approach, case study, the prison of research, planners, collectors, and data analysis reporters from the research resource. Location, health center in Kota Waringin Barat, District. Next. Thematic analysis. SOP, service recording with density standard. The recording states are medical record, NTH hard work, outpatient register, maternal cohort, Registers and guidance books. Two, operational recording data to the maternal cohort register. Operational definition of key for recorder data to the maternal cohort register. Next, conclusion. Service standard the INC has yes the. 10T standard. The absence of SOP makes service results not well documented, so the progress and service quality cannot be seen. The coordinator midwife know the time, keyword, and key for, but applying in the record there are abstracts, as well as some officials who do not have time and supervision. No training yet. This also greatly influencing the implementation of filling cohort register. The use of data as a source of data in assessing the success of the program. Use data source that's not true and valid in the cohort register. And this is my document. Triangulation, uh, Kota Waringin Barat, Jakarta, dan Sub Director of Health Health Jakarta. Next, dokumentasi uh, fokus grup disikin di course Kota Waringin Barat. Next. Thank you very much, Mr. Sunny. Thank you for Mrs. Chuck because she's learning. See, you have five minutes to go. That's enough. Enough, Mrs. Chuck Miko. You have five minutes to go. Enough? Yes. Yeah, yeah. Okay, enough. Thank you for your presenting. Now we will goes to Mrs. Siti Kolisa, SSTM case, right? Are you there, Mrs. Siti Kolisa? 
Mrs. Siti Kolisa, SSTM Kes. Hello, Mrs. Siti Kolisa. Can you hear my voice? Hello. Hi. Hello, good morning, Mrs. Siti Kolisa, SSD. Good morning. 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 Influence development delay first until second years old children in Bulawang Malang. The yes. time is yours. Yes. Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh. Good morning. Waalaikumsalam warahmatullahi wabarakatuh. Good morning. Honorable Sony Wiragada Eskep Nas Mkes. As moderator and good morning for all ladies and gentlemen. I am Siti Kolisa from Bululawang Public Health Care and I will present my thesis factor that influence development delay was until second year all children in Bululawang Malang. Background. There are development delay first until second year children case happen in Indonesia, especially in Bululawang, Malang. Purpose. The purpose of this study is to analyze with factors related to children in children one to two year old development delay first until second first development delay in Bululawang sub district Malang method the design design study was a quantitative reset using cross sectional approach discussion one nutritional status has no influence on developmental delay of one to two year old child PPLU is 0 0.449 two stimulation has significant effect to affect on developmental delay of one to two year old child, P value is 0 0.036. See, parental knowledge has significant effect to affect developmental delay of one to two year old child, P value is 0 0.00 parental knowledge played as major factor affecting developmental delay on child one to two year old because it is affecting parental behavior such, such as keeping stimulation and nutrition to their child odd ratio point is 116.75 next conclusion and recommendation conclusion one stimulation and parental knowledge has the effect to affecting developmental delay on one to two year old child. Two, parental knowledge played as the major factor affecting developmental delay on one to two year old child. Recommendation one, it is expected that parental to seek more information information to upgrade their knowledge by themselves 
from health provider, TV, book, and internet to health provider expected to increase their effort to pre to prevent developmental delay on one to two year old children. Thank you for your attention. Wassalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh. Waalaikumsalam warahmatullahi wabarakatuh. You have six minutes to go. That is enough, Mrs. Siti Kolisa. Enough? Yes. Yes, enough. Okay. Thank you for your presentation, Mrs. Siti Kolisa. Now I will to continue for the next presentator. You. Yes, yes. You're welcome. Okay. I will go to the next presentator is Mrs. Asri Dewi Wahyuning Tias. Are you there, Mrs. Asri? Yes, I am, Miss Mr. Sony. Okay, Mrs. Asri Dewi Wahyuning Tias, STR Kep MKS, right? Okay. Okay. You will you will present the ending. The title is Analysis of Factors Affecting the Behavior of pregnant woman in context in laboratory examination at Surpuchung Public Health Center, right? Uh, uh, thank you, Mr. Sony. Uh, good morning to the honorable all presenter of Piper in Strada International Conference on Health. First of all, I would like to say thank you for uh, the special occasion given to me. Well, I'm Asri Dewi Wahyuning Tias. I am a midwife in Sumber Pucung Public, Public Health Center. I'm also the student from master degree of Public Health Institute of Health uh, Science Strada Indonesia. Okay, uh, my the title. Analysis of factor of factor affecting the behavior of pregnant women in conducting laboratory examination at Sumber Pucung Public Health Center. Background: The low number of laboratory examination is one indicator of the low behavior of mother in conducting antenatal care examination. Next. Problem: Law of check laboratorium of pregnancy related with knowledge, family support, role of health workers, and distant home from public health care. Next, research purpose: Knowing the factors that most influence the behavior of laboratory examination in pregnant women at the Sumber Pucung Community Health Center. Next, research design. Next, okay. Design uh, my research observational with cross-sectional a population pregnant women in Sumber Pucung Public Health Center there are 140 respondents. Sample as pregnant women in Sumber Pucung Public Health Center. There are uh, 104. I'm sorry, uh, the number of sample is not correct. Uh, one, uh, 140. Uh, the right sample 140. Oh, I'm sorry, 104 respondents. Research design. Uh, that taken with sample ran random sampling. Instrument of this research is using questionnaire of distance from home to public health center, rule of health workers, and family support. Okay, next. Variable characteristic, number one, home distance. The table shows that from 104 respondents, Almost or less than one kilometer are seven, 75 respondents. There are 72.1%. Okay, next. 
family, uh, number two, family support. The table shows that from 104 respondents, almost or less have good family support are 85 respondents, there are 81.7%. Okay, next. Rule of, uh, uh, rule of health worker. The table shows that from 104 respondents, almost or less have enough rule of health worker are 62 respondents, there are 59.6%. Uh, okay, next. Behavior of doing laboratory. The table shows that from 104 respondents, almost all doing laboratory are 69 respondents, there are 66 Point three percent. Okay, next. Uh, the table above so that number one. The factor of role head worker is no affected to behavior. It is known from six score to tile. Uh, zero point six six four more than alpha zero point zero five. It means that HO is accepted while its one is rejected. Number two, the factor of family support is affected to behavior. It is known from six score to tile 0.01 more than alpha 0.05. It means HO is rejected while its one is accepted. Number three, the factor of distance is not effective to behavior. It is known from six score to tail 0.846 more than alpha 0.05. It means that HO is uh, accepted while each one is rejected. Number four, Based on the result of the value B, obtain the greatest of its family support most influential of behavior to doing laboratory. Okay, next. The most influential factor in uh, on laboratory examination in pregnant women at the Sumer Puchong Health Center. The highest value of B is family support, which can be concluded that family support has the most influence on laboratory examination in pregnant women. Okay, next. Uh, so the conclusion, number one, family support is the most influential factor in antenatal care behavior. Number two, with family support, it can foster awareness, willingness, and the ability of families to uh, recognize, cope with, uh, maintain, protect, and improve their own well-being. Number three, the importance of family support in the health sector is to be able to raise awareness of the willingness and Ability to maintain and improve health. Okay, thank you. Thank you for Mrs. Asti Dewi. That is enough. You have three minutes to go. Enough? Enough, enough. Okay, thank you for Mrs. Asti Dewi Wahyuni Tias, STR Cup MK. Thank you, thank you. Can we go to the next session? Okay, wait a minute, Mr. Sony. I will check okay. uh, in the waiting room of participants. Okay. So, for the all participants, feel free to give some question for the oral presentator today. If you have any question, any opinion, or any uh, question, you can write your question in the Zoom column. And don't forget to fill the presence link that we have 
cell. And the end of this section, we will know what's, who is the best for the presentator. So I hope that all the, all of the oral presentation not leave until the end. Until now, I don't have any question, any opinion. I think it is clear enough, okay. <laughs> How, okay, Mr. Uh, Sati? Mr. Sony, unfortunately, I cannot find the participant with the name of okay. Lydia Eki, so maybe we can postpone the presentation and okay. then we can go to the another participant. Okay. Because in this, uh, my schedule, there is no participant again. So I will to go to the next section. Uh, actually, now uh, we are come to the opinions question or answer question. But until now, I can read. I can read that there is no question. So I will go to, um, I will to remind again to fill the presence link on the link that the committee has shared in the Zoom chat. And then, so Mrs. Sati, can I end this presentation? Sure, Mr. Sunny, if there okay. is no more question, we can close the presentation. Okay, okay, I will to close the presentation. So ladies and gentlemen, before I end our meeting today, I would like to share information regarding the registration of new students of Strada Indonesia Institute of Health Science. IIK Strada Indonesia has two faculties, namely Faculty of Health, Nursing, and Postgraduate. In the Faculty of Health, there is a study program, Diploma Tree Radiology, Bachelor of Public Health, Bachelor of Pharmacy, and Bachelor of Hospital Administration. In the Faculty of Nursing, there is a Bachelor of Nursing, Nurse Profession, Bachelor of Midwifery, Diploma for Midwifery, Diploma Three Midwifery, and Midwifery Profession. In the Faculty of Postgraduate Studies, there is a Master of Public Health and Master of Nursing. More fully, you can access to the link at pmb.ieka.strata.ac.id. So ladies and gentlemen, finally we are come to the last session. Before I end the event today, I will announce who is the best presenter today that will announce by Mr. Mrs. Ratri. So we, congr we congratulate to Mrs. Ratri, maybe know what's the name. Okay, um, so we, we already analyzed about uh, six presenters uh, this morning. Unfortunately, one of the participants are not joining with us in the first session. Uh, I can announce right now for the okay. best oral presenter goes to Mrs. Siti Kolisa. Okay, congratulations for congratulations Mrs. Kolisa. Mrs. Siti Kolisa. Hello, Mrs. Siti Kolisa. Hello, Mrs. Siti Kolisa. You are the best presentation for today. <laughs> Congratulations for Mrs. Siti Kalisa, yeah. <laughs> okay. Um, Congratulations for the effort and hard work so that it can be the best presentator today. And as present appreciated, the committee will provide a certificate as the best presentation. And you are entitled to follow the next IC or international con conference event with free of charge. So I would like to thank you for all the presenters and audience for good participation. Hopefully this presentation will give us benefit. Thank you for your attention and good evening. Good, good morning and see you at the next conference. Thank you, <laughs> thank you for Strada. <laughs> yeah.